Anyways, uh, we're going to be putting in the pistons. Um, I have uh, my first time doing this part, uh, so. But uh, anyways, I got this uh, ring compressor. Just a, it's, it's not plastic, and it's actually a piece of steel or aluminum, one of the two. Uh, it's pretty light, so it's probably aluminum. Um, but anyways, it's it's tapered. So I'll give you an example. Okay, that's the that's the wider side, and that's the thinner side. Okay, so we got wider side, thinner side. So from what I can guess is that the thinner side needs to fit on top, okay? Because then or oh, wait a minute. that would fit like that. No, that wouldn't fit like that because it's thinner. It's wider. No no. You need the you need the thicker side because that's the taper. It's wider up here. You need the thicker side to be on this side. And when you push it down, it okay. When you push it down, it tapers until it fits straight on. Okay. So take this slowly uh, according to what I've read and on the internet and stuff, dig this slowly. It is definitely not a rush job. Uh, put a little, here's my pistons, put a little lube, uh, put a little of the assembly lube on the bearing itself before you uh, continue. Oops, a little too much here. Okay. Um, and then I have the uh, um, okay, there's my there's my little thought. So I know that that face is the front of the engine. So it's going to go like like that. That face is the front. The front's here of the engine, and that goes in that direction. Okay. So I've got my I've got my uh, piston rings. I got them born in 180 from each other from what I read and actually let's just make this 180 from the center line okay so the 180 of each other but the but the oil gap rings are are centered up uh, are centered up with this are centered up with the arrow pyramid here and they're they're about 45 degrees off from that center so you got one over here um, so if that's the center you got so if that's center if that's the if that's my center point for the uh, for the oil uh, oil ring oil rings then I got one I got the gap here and I got a gap here um, I'll tell you which side I got the I got the top ring here and I got the Got the top ring here and the uh, the the second ring over here, the the lower ring over here. Make sure I got. Yeah, that's right. So, okay. Let me uh, do a quick clean up here of inside, just to make sure there's nothing. And that's number one. This is my number one, and I got piston number one. Okay, so okay, we got oil. I got to use some. Um, according to red, you don't want to use uh, fresh oil on. You don't want to use synthetic on the on the actual this part because it, it's too slippery and it's not going to work out too well. So only use assembly loop for the bearings itself, but the sides just use it, 
good old 10 weight 30. So let's get some of this on here. And just a light coating it says. Um, you don't need to get crazy. Just kind of coat this whole thing here. Oh man, I moved it. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna assume this part's gonna go. Again, I've got my uh, my things are covered. Okay. okay. Kind of guide it in. Now, I got them. I don't want all this gunk on here. Okay, so we got that facing the front of the engine. And I'm going to hold this, tap it in. Okay, it's going. I got it. Holy cow. That is awesome. That is awesome. That worked so good. That worked. Wow. That looked great. Okay, we can you can twist it a little bit. I see. A little bit of movement in here. You can once you get it in, you can. Maybe I don't want to twist it up. Okay, that's perfect. What is all this gunk here? Just want all this back in here. Holy cow! That was awesome. <laughs> yeah.
That was really awesome. That was, I'll tell you, that was, uh, that was pretty awesome. Wow. Thank you, Internet. Okay, so <laughs> it's so damn hot out here. Uh, I'm dripping sweat onto my bare metal engine, which is nice. You know, get that nice rusty look to it, you know. Son of a bitch. Okay, guys, uh, I'm back. I had to put on a, had a makeshift uh, ba bandana here. So damn hot. Okay, so got this on. Uh, got the piston all the way through. We're at BDC for the crankshaft. Um, I've got a number on here. I'm going to put a little, I'm going to put some lube uh, right here. Uh, I'm going to be pretty liberal with this because this is this is what gets spun when you don't have enough of it. All right, so I'm going to put that on. Okay, and then I'll uh, mix that around. Okay, one, one's over here. I'm gonna fit that right there. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of this stuff on. Just uh, for maybe not. I don't know. Well, I put on the main caps. I'll put just a little bit. All right, so, okay, whoa, okay. Okay, so be very careful. I just dropped the nut. Oh boy. Okay, now I gotta figure out where the hell it is. Found it. Yay. Okay. All right. Keep that handy. Alright, I don't know, I have an issue. It doesn't seem like it's down far enough for top dead center. I mean for pop bottom dead center. Okay. Right now I'm looking for the torque settings for the uh, I'm looking for the torque settings for the worker. Uh, excuse me for the uh, the caps here 24 pounds all right connecting rod nuts connecting rod okay it says to do them in, in three settings in three steps so we'll start off at 10 okay so let's start off at, there's 10 10. Go to 20, two, okay, 24.
Okay. Whew. I think that's it, guys.